Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Only this I see Just to dwell, dwell, dwell Here forever This will be my posture Laying at your feet Oh, just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever come on in everybody i'm excited because tonight is our prayer during our 12 days of fasting i'm excited because this is our tithe of the year and we have decided in our hearts and our mind to fast and give god a tithe of the year we are doing one day for each month of the year um, so I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a teaching and then into prayer tonight. So if you want, you can always re-listen to this again and take some copious notes as well. I'm just going to drop a few things about fasting and prayer and even about the number 12 as well, because we are doing 12 days of fasting and prayer. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Thank you guys for jumping on. Make sure you share this. Um, because this is a public post so you can share it share it share it like and throw some hearts up as well um, these days of fasting have been amazing going into 2021 now that we are here I'm excited because I know that God is going to do some amazing things we again we have been fasting um, for the last three days four if you count the first day we started um, and the number 12 because we're doing 12 days of fasting and prayer one day for each month of this year. We are giving God a tithe of the year. Hey, Sister Marlena, how are you? Good evening. Um, so number 12 represents authority. It represents perfection, meaning maturity. Uh, it also in the Hebrew represents order, organization, learning, protection, teaching. I always equate the number 12 when you're reading the scripture about teaching and the manifestation of the teacher and learning and equate it to learning as well. Then we need to understand that in, in this moment of fasting and prayer, we have to be intentional with why we are fasting. And fasting, for those that need the definition of fasting, fasting is the willful abstaining from your natural, from natural pleasures, whether that's food, um, whether that's certain things that you do on a regular basis, um, as well that take up time from you feeding your spiritual uh, man. So fasting is a willful abstaining from natural pleasures for a spiritual purpose. If somebody can write that definition in the chat for me, that'd be awesome. So fasting is the willful abstaining from natural pleasures for a spiritual purpose. I want you guys to remember that it's for a spiritual purpose. It's to feed your spirit, man. It's to build up your spirit. It's to build you up. It's to create um, something great on the inside of you as well for you to meet your purpose as well. Um, thank you, Sister Marlena. I'm glad that you'll be able to listen to this later as well. We love you. God bless you. Um, so I wanted to just give you guys a couple of nuggets before we get into prayer this evening about fasting. Uh, fasting is a form of prayer when coupled with your regular uh, supplication before the Lord. It is it literally enhances your prayer life. So a lot of times when we find ourselves um, battling things and there's an obstruction in our life, um, if we couple our prayer with fasting, it literally will begin to break down doors and break down barriers. It is a blockage breaker. Okay, somebody put that in, write that in there as well. Fasting is a blockage breaker, a blockage breaker. It will break up the things that are obstructing your forward movement. If you are, if you as a creative, and I want to talk to people that are creative, that have gifts, as well, if you find yourself with writer's block, if you find yourself um, bl being blocked in any type of way from your creative abilities, fasting will unblock your creativity. Fasting will also begin to cause a flow to come into your life as well. And a lot of times we run from fasting because it's literally, like it says, it's abstaining from natural pleasures. 
for a spiritual purpose. It's for us to build up something internally, build up something in your mind, build up things in your mind and in your heart. It must be done with intention. Fasting is not for weight loss, okay? There's a difference between how the world fasts and does like intermittent fasting and different things like that because remember, fasting is abstaining, but fasting for what we're talking about is for a spiritual purpose, and we are doing it for a spiritual purpose. If you find yourself um, again in, in, in this fast and you haven't marked an intention on why you are fasting, what it is that you want to build up, what it is that you want God to do for you, you need to fast with intention. Um, fasting also means that you are humbling yourself to God. You are humbling yourself to God. It will take humility. It'll take a, a, a humbling in you to abstain from things that you naturally find pleasurable. You know, from your regular television shows, the, the things that we occupy our time with. And to take a period of time and a moment in your life to pull away from those things in order to build up your spirit man in order to build yourself up and again remember what we talked about we're looking for God to do some things in maturing us we're looking for God to expand we're looking for God to help us with our learning and to teach us some things and, and when we talk about um causing blockages to be removed it's also for hearing the voice of God a lot of times when you're not able to hear the voice of God clearly to make decisions Decisions that you need to make. Some of you struggle with decision making because of the fact that there's a blockage in your ability to be able to move forward and to progress in the area in those areas. And God is saying to you, to us, even during this fast, if you want to enhance your ability to be able to make decisions, then you need to fast. Fasting with the intention of God, I want you to unblock my mind so that I'm able to make the right decisions and, and make the decisions that, is, that are needed for my life so that I can move forward and progress. A lot of times people find themselves stagnated because of the lack of ability to make decisions. If you fast, it, those things, uh, um, those in the information that you need and the, uh, the ideas and whatever it is that you need God to download into you, you open yourself up to, uh, begin to flow and to begin to move forward. Um, the same way we see in the word of God, where there were, um, times where the, the disciples were trying to cast out demons and they were not removed. It's because the, 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 the Lord said, Jesus said to them, he said, this kind doesn't come out except for by prayer and fasting. There are some things that will not be moved unless you fast. If you are struggling with addictions, if you are struggling with some things that are, that have you locked up and in bondage, if there's a way of life that you were trying to break, if you, if there are habits that you are trying to break fasting and prayer will break those habits. Fasting and prayer, adding fasting as a component to your prayer life. I'm telling you, it'll keep you in a flow. There are people that I know that, um, that don't wait for just a corporate fast, but even me, myself, I have a monthly fast that I do even on my own. I do a, a weekly consecration because it keeps you in a flow. It keeps you in a flow. So hearing the voice of God, being able to move wisdom comes when you fast. If you need instruction, instructions come when you fast. And a lot of times we are waiting to hear from everyone else. When God is saying, if only you fast and only you pray, and fast, then you'll be able to be opened up to hear my voice clearer. Clarity comes when you fast because we are removing all obstructions. We are removing all distractions. We're also um, opening up our time to feed our spirit man and we're replacing that time that we would spend doing all of those other things of pleasure. We're willfully pulling ourselves away from those things and replacing it with things that will open us up more to the, to the presence of God, whether it's um, worship, posturing your heart for worship, whether it is um, reading more of your word, listening to the word, um, even audibly, because sometimes I even let the, the word of the Lord play. I'll pick a certain book of the, of, of the Bible and I'll just let it play in my hearing while I'm working through the day when usually I'd maybe watch a show or usually 
usually I'd listen to music or whatever. The Lord wants us to be open and to be unblocked and unrestricted. And the way that we do that is through fasting. These 12 days represent you gaining back authority, you going into moving into a place of maturity because the mature will fast. Let me explain this. The mature will willfully fast. And at first, a lot of times when you're just beginning to fast, it takes a, a lot of effort takes a lot of effort because the flesh does not want you to restrict it. The flesh does not want you to uh, remove those pleasures and things that it enjoys. It doesn't want that. And a lot of times you'll even find a kick up of spiritual warfare in your atmospheres. The moment you intentionally make up your mind that you are going to fast and designate time to the Lord. That's when people want to take you out to dinner. That's when people want to offer you free food and snacks and all kinds of things that you're not indulging in during your fast because the, 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 the enemy doesn't want you to be opened up to hear the voice of the Lord. Because if we're able to hear the voice of the Lord, then we can distinguish between the enemy's voice, our own thoughts and our own agenda and the agenda of God. That is in fasting is where God begins to make a clear cut of his agenda for our lives. If you want to know your purpose, if you want to be clear about where you are going, fasting will do it. That is what this fast is for. We want God to expand our mind, enlarge the territory of our thoughts so that we can begin to think. So we, we want God to grace us to fast. Give us the grace to fast. Father, let, let me be able to do this monthly. Let me be able to lay before you, you know, intentionally monthly and, 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 and periodically times because I'm telling you in the word of God, the people of God knew that fasting would break the hole. Fasting would cause them to win wars and win battles. Some examples, because I've done this, this, this teaching before a little bit with you guys, but I want to just reiterate this before we get into prayer, because I feel that we need just a, a, a push because we need to know that when we turn around and, and begin to willfully abstain from the pleasures that we enjoy on a daily basis or an hour, in an hourly basis for uh, for our spirit man and for God to do a work in us, God honors that. God sees it. And what he does is power comes in our fasting. Power comes to, to, to sustain you through it. And even afterwards, there's a greater reward. Even when the fast is over, it says that Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. And it said when he came out of the wilderness, he came out with power. Every time you see a fast going on in the word of God, they came out with power. They came out with ideas. They came out with clarity. And that is what we want. Set your intentions during this time. Set your intentions. I want to just give you guys some examples. Um, the even with David in Psalms, but we, he knew that there were battles that he needed to fight. He knew that there were battles that he needed to win. And what God did was he, he put a prompting in him to fast. He helped him to understand the importance of fasting. And when he came out of his fast, you'll see that he came out with a song. You'll see he came out and won the battle. He came out and he got direction. We have uh, people in the word of God, even as Ezra fasted for Israel's safety, as Israel traveled in to Jerusalem in Ezra chapter 8 verse 23 Ezra fasted for Israel to have safety in their going and Jesus also instructed us to fast um we we want to make sure that we are staying in tune with what God is saying. There are all different types of fasts, but the, even during this time and in this moment, it brings unity to the body. It brings unity to each and every one of us. And as we pray each night, set your intentions, Lord, this is what I need you to do. Even though we may be praying for certain things, set your intentions during the prayer. Set your mind to, Lord, I want you to move. I want you to begin to bring clarity in these areas. And then when you write it down, this is key. When you write down what you want the Lord to do and, and make clear, then listen for the answer. Listen for the answer and write down what the Lord begins to prompt you in your spirit. If you are asking God for direction, write it down. Lord, I need direction and guidance in this area. And as you begin to do, and as you begin to move, watch God begin to give clarity. 
That is what fasting is for. Lord, I'm moving all the obstructions and I'm moving all of the things that would have taken up time for me to hear your voice so that I can hear clearly. So let's get into prayer, you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for this fast. I'm excited for 2021. I'm excited to hear the things that God is about to do in each and every one of your lives and how he is going to grace you to even um, begin to fast greater and fast more so that you can really truly see the hand of God, even healing in the body even healing in the body. When we fast, we begin to regulate our system. We begin to regulate. You'll begin to see that your body is flushing out things during the, during this time, because your body is going to, is going to begin to regulate itself so that it can come into alignment with your good health as well. And we just have to maintain we have to maintain. It's like a reset for the body even as well. So God, I love that God gives us a duality that as we begin to, to fast for a spiritual purpose, that there's also a natural reward, even to our fasting, your cognitive, uh, even in, in your mind, cognitive uh, clarity will come. Your thoughts will clear. Your mind, your, your, all those things that are jumbled in your mind, those things will begin to clear out as well. And I love the fact that God has given us this tool in our arsenal to defeat the enemy and to also give us power, right? To give us power. It's like a supercharge to the gifts and to supercharge to our lives as Christians. So let's get into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. And we praise you tonight, Lord God, that you have graced us to come this far, even on this fast, Lord God. We thank you and we praise you, Lord God, even for understanding, Lord God, that we are willfully abstaining from pleasures, Lord God, so that we can begin to be built up in our spirit, so that we can begin to be built up in our minds, Father, so that we can receive downloads and receive and hear your voice, God, so that we can be clear on direction, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that this will not be a fast like any other fast that we have done, Father, that we will have true, willful, and and intentional uh, um, ideas that we desire for you to make clear to us, Father. We ask that even as we go through these these times and these transition and these phases through this fast, oh God, that you will begin to touch our minds, that you will begin to touch our bodies, that you will begin to touch our hearts, Father. We humble ourselves during this time, God, abstaining from the things that we may do on a regular basis, God, but we are sectioning out this time to give you more of us. We are sectioning out this time, Lord God, to defeat the power of the enemy, to defeat the power of negative thoughts, oh God, to defeat the power of whatever has been uh, trying to weigh us down and, and cause us not to be able to move forward. Lord God, we are taking this time, Lord God, to remove blockages and to begin to defeat all of those things that have been trying to put a glass ceiling above us. Heavenly Father, we thank you to tonight, Lord God, that you are clearing the way, God, even in this fast, that you are opening up doors even during this fast, God. And Lord God, as we seek your face, as we as we set our intentions, God, we ask that you answer us. We ask that you make the way clear. We ask that you give us direction. We ask that you give us guidance. Lord God, even those that are just are fasting, just to be able to understand your voice and hear you clearly, God, begin to speak clear, begin to speak, Lord God, like never before, and give instructions, give ideas, Lord God. Lord God, I pray for the creatives tonight, God, that they would even be moved from writer's block, and that there would be a flow during this fast, God, that there would be a flow, Lord God, like never before, Lord God, that you would give them the, the, the pen of a ready writer in the name of Jesus, that they would produce more in the next 12 days, Lord God, in these 12 days, Lord God, than they have ever done, even in the last 12 months. Father, I declare and decree, Lord God, that even during this time, Lord God, that you will strengthen your people, Lord God, that you would enlarge the capacity of their minds, Father, the capacity that they hold in their spirit. Spirit, Lord God, as the garbage is dumped out, as the garbage is removed, Lord God, as the waste is being flushed, Father, that you would begin to come in and fill us with the things that you would desire for us to have, that you would fill us, oh God, with good ideas, with witty inventions, Father, with clarity for the future, Lord God, Lord God, that you would enhance the gifts on the inside of us in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray right now, Lord God, that you are stirring the gifts of the prophets. You are stirring 
stirring the gifts right now, Lord God, of the seers. You are stirring the gifts, Lord God, of helps. You are stirring the gifts on the inside of your people during this fast. And you are bringing power and authority on them right now in the name of Jesus. We give you glory, honor, and praise, God, because there is no other God who is greater than you. There is no power that is greater than yours. Father, we pull on you during this past. We pull on you. We pull on a fresh word. Give us a fresh rhema, God. Give us a fresh rhema that'll sit on our hearts, God, and lead us into the future. Look, God, give us a release a fresh wind upon us, God, in the name of Jesus. Look, God, release a fresh rule in, in our lives, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we glorify you right now, Lord God, that as we posture our hearts each and every day, and we set our intentions each and every day during this fast, God, that you would begin to blow a fresh wind upon us and release a fresh rhema upon us in the name of Jesus. Look, God, that it would sustain us, God, that it would uplift us, God, that it would edify us, God. Look, God, as we read your word, Father, and look, God, as we seek your face, God, Lord, we ask that you begin to push us. We ask that you begin to help us to maneuver and move throughout this time, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch our faith families. Lord God, enlarge our territory in the name of Jesus. Make us better managers of what you have given to us. Make us better managers of our time. Make us better managers of our money. Make us better managers of our gifts. Make us better managers, Lord God, of the of the things that you have placed in our hands, God, so that you can say to us, Lord God, that you are that you are pleased, and Lord God, that you can say to us, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Lord, I thank you and I praise you right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that we will be decisive during this time, that we would make up our minds, Lord God, to fully give you our all to fully give you everything that belongs to you. Lord God, that because you want to use willing vessels, you want to use submitted vessels. And tonight, God, we ask that you help us even during this time of fasting and prayer. Lord God, in your power, just as I feel, even as we are praying, Father, let your power begin to flush through your people from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, God. Lord, I thank you that distractions are being removed. Lord God, to give us the grace to remove everything that is obstructing our view, that is obstructing our time. In the mighty name of Jesus, every glass ceiling be broken. In the name of Jesus, everything that is blocking your people from being able to move forward, everything that is stopping them and that has stopped them in the past, God, and stagnated them, Lord God, and caused them to pause, Father. Lord God, I pray that during this fast, that there would be a flow like never before, that there would be a river that springs up from the inside. Lord God, let the rain fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Let there be a flow from every direction, the north, south, east, and the west, God. Let the wellspring come up, God, and let the rain fall from heaven in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I thank you that you are awakening gifts inside of your people even now that they didn't even understand that they had, that they didn't even know that they had, God. Begin to stir up the gifts and gave, make us good managers of what you have given to us. God, that we will not sit on what you have given, that we will not sit on what you have spoken, that we will not sit on what you are, are burning on the inside of us, God. And I thank you, Lord God, that purpose is being realized. Purpose is being realized, Lord God. Lord God, take them from discovery to realization in the name of Jesus, that they will look at their skills, that they will look at what you've given them in their hands and Father, and realize what you have given them and what you have anointed them to do and what you have called them to do so that they can begin to do the work in the earth realm that you desire. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you set up the system to where you needed, Lord God, a body. You need a man to accomplish the will that you have in the earth, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that the enemy will no longer be able to use these vessels of clay, Lord God, because we give up and we surrender and we bind the hand of the enemy on every hand that comes against us, that speaks against against us, Lord God, that tries to filter through our minds in the name of Jesus. 
Lord God, we declare that the enemy has no more access to the landscape of our minds. We declare that the enemy has no more access to the landscape of our hearts. We thank you, Lord God. We are pulling a rake in the spirit through the landscape of our mind and heart right now, God. And we are pulling out everything that is not like you, everything that is obstructing your will for us, everything that is trying to cause us not to be fruitful in this season. God, you created us to be fruitful. And God, even in this time, we are when we are praying for expansion and enlargement, God, we declare and decree right now, God, that everything that is trying to cause our harvest, look, God, to be destroyed, we come against it even now. Look, God, we thank you for raising up the hedge of protection around us now in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done. Let your will be done tonight. Let your will be done in your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your will be done. Father, we thank you for what you are doing for us during this fast. Lord God, we willfully lay down ourselves. We willfully lay down our will. We willfully lay it down, Lord God, and exchange it for yours. We exchange it for yours tonight in the name of Jesus. Hold on, 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 on. In the name of Jesus, ignite your people. Ignite those that have never been used, Father, to the capacity right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you would build up a resolve in your people. God, that they would be decisive. We would be decisive, Lord God, in in our walk with you. Father, that that we would not be wishy-washy and double-minded in the name of Jesus. God, that we, Lord God, would have one focus and one mind. Lord God, that we would begin to progress rest in our walk with you. Father, that we will not go backwards, that we would only go forward, that there would be only forward motion and only forward moves right now in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree it to be so, God, just as you're, I feel a wellspring coming up from the inside, Father. I thank you that your people may feel the same fire on the inside of them now, God. And I that you move. Move by your spirit, move by your power. Let your presence be manifested right where they are. Let their family members hear this, God. Lord God, even put it, Lord God, as this prayer echoes in the atmosphere, let their family members feel this prayer. Father, we labor in prayer tonight for those, oh God, that are seeking salvation for those in their family that are not saved, that don't know you, God. Lord God, and, and may not know you correctly, Father. Lord God, we lay down right now in the name name of Jesus. If you just start calling out the names of your family, look that need that you want saved. Hallelujah. I feel that God is about to touch them in a mighty way and begin to put a fire and a yearning on the inside of them. Father, we thank you and we glorify your name, God, that as they call out the names of their loved ones right now, Lord God, that need to feel a touch from you, that need to feel your presence, God. I thank you, Lord God, that you are moving right now, God. I don't know who Candace is, but God, you touch Candace in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you begin to move upon her. Lord God, begin to touch her in a mighty way from the crown of her to the soles of her feet, God. I thank you, Lord God, that you are doing the work that we may not be able to do, God, but you are doing the work, God. You are doing the work. And Father, this year will be a year of expansion, enlargement. This year will be a year of our learning. This year will be a year of demonstration. This year will be a year, Lord God, where we feel the wind of God. We thank you for double for our troubles, even in the last years that we have experienced, Father, that as we submit to your will and as we begin to walk forward, God, you would guide our steps and you would lead us, God. We trust you. We trust you. We trust you that you will guide us. We trust you that you will open doors as you see fit and close doors as you see fit in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, Lord God, that we will not walk into this this, this time, Lord God, with the same mindsets. We will not walk into it the same way, God. Give us stamina, God. Give us strength, God. Give us a resolve. Give us a positive attitude and outlook, Lord God. Change our eyes for yours so that we can see things according to your will and according to your way. Father, in the name of Jesus, because you know what you have in store for us. And we pray tonight, God, that you begin to move and that you begin to do the work on the inside of us in Jesus' name. 
Father, as we continue even on this fast, God, we ask that you would build, build your people, edify us, edify us through your word, edify us through the prophetic word, edify us through song, edify us through people around us, God, begin to build us, give us a message for the, for the world, give us a message for those around us, God, awaken spiritual giftings right now in the name of Jesus, so that they can be used to glorify you, not to be brought to us, oh God, but to glorify our Father, which is in heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I am excited for what God is doing in this time. I am excited to see what he's going to do, how he's going to move, and the ways he's going to make. Um, don't forget to set your intentions every single day. Set your intentions every day, you know, of what you what you are looking for God to do, hearing the voice of God, you know, awakening prophetic gifts, awakening the spiritual gifts, because there's more than just the prophetic gifts. There's gifts of, of love. We want God to begin to move those things up and, and, and begin to uh, the fruits of the spirit is what I mean to so that God begin to awaken and begin to help us to grow. Even the fruits of the spirit, love, meekness, temperance, long suffering. We want God to begin to move in our, in our lives that we are no longer the same person. We were though. Our character is changed. Our attitude is changed. we must submit to the will of God so that he can begin to move us in the directions that he desires for us. Some of you have been praying, Lord, what direction do I go? Move, move, go and move and watch what doors God opens. It says he orders our steps, but we've got to take the steps. And I want that to be a blessing to somebody. He will order the steps that you make. So that means if we start moving in the direction of where our hearts are, are, are pushing us to, and if we're moving, then God is going to order our steps. Um, Minister D'Angela even did a live earlier today that I shared on my page and she was even talking about a ram in the bush, things that you are not even looking for, people that you're not even expecting to bless you, even with something minute, something small. It's God showing you. He is guiding your steps. And it doesn't matter what it is. We always look for God to do, um, to guide our steps in major things. But I love when God guides my steps in the little things. He puts me in the right direction to the right store, to the right sale, to, to the right parking space. You know, th th it just shows you that God is with you and he wants to be constantly involved in your movements. If we make the steps, God will order them. He will meet us as we move. He will meet us as we walk. He will meet us as we decide. He will meet you as you begin to, to push forward. As we begin to push forward, God will order the steps. The steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. If your heart is God, I'm going to move forward and do the things that you, that I believe that you are telling me to do. And God will begin to push you into open doors. If the doors close before you, that means that that's not the direction. Just keep going in a different direction. Just keep moving forward. Let's progress in the season. Let's move in the season. Let's let God be glorified through us. Let's not be stopped and stagnated. Let's not continue to pray over the same things this year that we prayed for the last five years. Move, 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 move. Let God begin to order your steps and show you those little things, those little things that begin to remind you that he is with you. He is with you. The steps of a righteous man, a man who sets his heart, a woman who sets her heart to please God, he will order your steps. He will lead and he will guide you. God bless you all. I'm excited for this fast. I'm excited to see the things that God is going to do. I'm excited to pour out even the more during these uh, moments that we have um, as well. Just go back and listen to the reason for fasting um, and, and, and write down some notes as well, because I'm going to drop some more things as we move forward and, and make sure that we are in, in perfect alignment with God. This is the tithe of the year that we are doing. The number 12 meaning authority. 
The number 12 also meaning learning, meaning teaching. The number 12 also talking about perfection, meaning maturity. These are the things that we are, are doing even during this time, each day representing a month. So let's move forward, people of God. Impact family, I love you guys. And let's move on. Let's move forward. Let's keep pressing. Let's stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I know that... Um, you know, our flesh tries to kick up in the first three to four days, but you know what? After the first three to four days, the enemy already know I'm on, I'm on, I got momentum. I'm on track. I'm going to keep going because I'm doing this for a spiritual purpose. I'm going to deny my flesh. I'm going to deny my desires so that I can move forward and I can become all that God has for me. So as we end all things, be empowered, be encouraged and be enriched. Know that I love you. I care for you. I am praying for each and every one of you. I pray that you are praying for me as well. Let's move on into the future and see what God has in store. I will see you guys tomorrow night at 630. So let's get into prayer. I love you guys.